Hey everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So, from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. This is an episode of Coffee with Kim. So we kind of start our day, ease into the day, um, chat a little bit about what we did yesterday, look forward to today, and uh, share some projects and all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm going to tell you straight off, if I sound like I'm yelling, I am, because our generator is running. For some reason, we lost power at about 3 a.m., and the generator's been running ever since. We have one of those whole house ones that just pops on when the power goes out, thank goodness. Although, you know, it could have waited till 5 a.m. <laughs> but anyway, so if you hear me yelling, that's why I'm yelling. Try to get over the generator. Listen. That's it. So, all right. So right off the bat, um, if you guys are regular viewers and share a cup of coffee with me every day, you'll notice this is different. So again, I spent time yesterday, again, um, rearranging my closet, but I realized I was getting a lot of books. So I wanted to sort out my books so I could look through them and put my hands on things when I wanted to. So the beginning is all Christmas crafts and other crafts and then see the granny right there after granny is all crochet and, and knitting. Um, I do not knit. I only knit with the Addy, but I don't knit. I've tried it. It doesn't work. But so anyway, but those are all books about knitting and crocheting. So I figured I wanted to put them all where I could put my hands on them and have everything right where I needed it. So what did I do yesterday? Other than that, <laughs> so you know how I have this book and I'm trying to get through all the projects in here. Um, where is it? So yesterday, if I can find it, <clears throat> I made this bag. So what I do for those of you that don't know is I make it according to their instructions and then I change a couple things and I make my own version of it. So um, yesterday I was like, well, it's a market bag and they're round. So I made it, I made their version and I like it. Don't get me wrong, but it took, you know, takes a little while to do it this way. And it's cute. I like it, but I was thinking to myself, okay, for my version, what would I do different? Well, the first thing I was thinking was I'd like a drawstring. Second thing I was thinking is, um, I wouldn't have used such a big crochet hook. So as I started to use the hook, or as I started to, yeah, as I started to use a smaller hook and make the bag, I said to myself, wait a minute, I've got my Addy sitting right there. So my brain started working. What can I do? How can I use the Addy to make a bag? Because it's a circle, bags are circles, right? <clears throat> so I put the Addy on the desk and I I started. So here is take number one. You can see the stitches are not consistent. They don't have a consistency on them, but it would work, right? It would totally work. Um, let me turn this light up a little bit. There we go. So I had the drawstring, a drawstring bottom. So that right there saves you a lot of time. You're not stitching, you're not stitching. And I just did a chain of a hundred, I think. And, um, so that was version number one. And I say version number one because I quite literally spent the whole day trying to figure this out. I did not want to go to YouTube and just type in and have someone else show me how to do it. I wanted to figure it out myself. I wanted to be creative. Yeah. So, okay, here's my first try drawstring bag, which it works. It does work. And I will keep it and use it. So then I said, well, Let's see what it's like if I do, here's a reminder, here's their handles. I said, let's see if I can do handles like theirs. So I made a little bit of a smaller version of it with handles like theirs. Okay, I like it. Again, this, you can see it's a little more consistent with the stitch because I figured it out. You got to hold the tension right. And then instead of drawstring on the bottom, I actually closed it up. So that was take two. 
Did I stop there? No. <laughs> Come on. You all know me better than that. So I said, well, what if we need something we can sling over our shoulder, right? Example number one of a drawstring backpack. So again, a lot of my work that I'm going to show you right now isn't pretty because the, these are just prototypes. I'm just trying to figure it out. So again, I like the drawstring. Okay. But these, once I put in, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Once I put in a bag of apples and five navel oranges, this stretched a little bit too far. So I was like, okay, I like the concept, but a couple things. The drawstring needs to be in the middle. So the handles fall right. And I had to shorten these. Put that in the pile. So here we have what I think is going to be the final product. And obviously I got to make this prettier. I've already figured out how to do that. But here it is, drawstring, little backpack for the market or for the kiddos to go to camp or for whatever. There it is. Drawstring, market bag, zoop. There you go. I got the handles meeting in the middle the straps that are not too long, and there we have it. So this, one, two, <laughs> three, four, and the original took me my whole Sunday. Thank goodness NASCAR was on, so I had something to listen to while I was doing it. But I do love their original. I like how airy it is, but I also like this as well, and it took me half the time and half the yarn as this and it holds the same amount so if anything i might do a double row of these but pure cotton so that you get 100 cotton so that you can throw it in the washing machine um again i'll work on the seam to make that prettier but there you go that's my that's my version of their market bag but made on the addy i like it so What's next? Oh, all right. So my next project from the book is going to be, come on, where are you? So they have it as a pot holder. But if you look at the picture here, they're actually using it as a hot plate. So I'm going to use it as a hot plate, but Here's the caveat. I got, oh my goodness, it's heavy. I got this little box here of oven bricks. Okay. There are 12 of them. There's 12 of them in here. They're made for pizza ovens. They're made to be hot. Okay. So. My, my take on their pot holder, I put this back on the floor, is I'm going to make it their way, completely their way. Okay, so by the time you sew it up, you make it a square, there it is. Okay, so there's their version of it. But I'm going to put the hot plate in it. I'm going to put the brick in it, I mean, and make it a hot plate. Now, I'm going to put a button here, a crocheted button because, see that right there, I'm in the middle of it. So I'm going to put a crocheted button loop and button holder there. I've done my research. So 100% cotton yarn can go in the oven up to 500 degrees. So you take this while you're making dinner set it in the oven for the last five minutes and you can then take it out set it on the table and put your dinner your casserole your pot your pan right on top of it and it will um, work as a hot plate and keep it warmer longer so there we go that's pretty cool right oh i'm out of coffee 
last sip. I never enjoy the last sip as much as the first sip. Anyway, so I'm working on that. I think these will be great for the farmer's market. I, I really do. I think they'll be great. And it's really cute. So my concept here is, let's see if I can show you. I know you got to ignore the tails, okay? So it's going to look, it's not sewed on, remember, but it's going to look like this. There's the button and the loop because I don't want to use a real button because obviously that can't go in the oven. And if you set something on it, you don't want it to teeter, totter, teeter. So the flat button, there we go. So that is my take on their pot holder. I will have that video up later this afternoon. That's kind of fun. Um, okay, so update on my plants. So not only did I take the baby plants from the plant where I was working, um, and I know those of you that hang out with Coffee with Kim all the time know this, but I just want to update everybody. So I go to Lowe's a lot, and I'll go to their houseplant section this time of year, or I'll go to their garden section when it's warmer. But I will look for the plants that they've neglected, and um, they're marked down to like a dollar or whatever, and then I bring them home, and I bring them back to life. So I want to take you on a tour of my rescued and baby plants. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I wanted to take a little field trip today and show you all an update on my plants. So as you can see, those are all adult plants, but down here are my babies. So there they are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So there's eighteen of the babies so far. I did find planters for them all. Here's some more of my adult plants. Here's a picture that I made using dried flowers and a picture from a magazine. That was fun. But here we go. This is my one corner of plants. Um, it was and will be again. This one cart was all white. So um, I only have these extras along the bottom here because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So once I find homes for the babies, and then I'm going to take that there and use white cord, wrap that around there. But you can see even the bird statues that I have are white. All right, so we're going to go over here. Here's some more of the um, plants and more of the babies. So here we go. There's one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look how big they're getting, eight, nine. So those are the rest of the babies. So I'm happy to say that all of the babies out are transplanted and have homes. So this is actually an old, uh, what do they call it, a dry sink? We used as a bar for a while, but now it has been taken over by my plants. In the sink. So behind the sink, I have another group of plants. You guys will remember I got that one at Lowe's at half price because it, um, it looked really, really sad and dead, but it's looking great right now. It's reflowered. It's really pretty. And then I have my bamboo. And this is actually um, the plant that was on my desk at work. They actually paid for a plant service there. So I took a snip of that before I left because it had been my plant for about 10 years. And then this one is, I'm actually doing an experiment on this. There's so many roots on it. This is what the stem was of that one. Um, 
but there were so many roots I didn't want to just snip it off and throw it away so I actually put it in water to see if that will do anything um, might be creative mug there <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to do I don't know I don't know it almost looks like let's try to get to focus you don't need to see my dishes um, I don't know I'm gonna have to check that after the video see how it's doing it might just be rotting in the water but I'll check that so this was a um, a vase from my mom's this my son-in-law made me and the plants in here are actually plants that I had bought I did the centerpieces for their wedding and these are what was left over for it so I put them in the uh, dish that he made me and then another planter from my mom's and these are all plants now every single one of these plants that I have here except that um, every other plant that I showed you has been a rescue was that awesome did you love it I love it I sit in there every morning I look at my plants I talk to my plants uh, I water my plants I love them everywhere I look they're there and a lot of them I'm actually going to take to the farmer's market as rescued babies and I'm going to sell them to people who might have a little bit more room because as you can see I'm a little packed in there so um, they should be nice and big and healthy by then so I will <clears throat> I will go ahead and sell them at the farmer's market so um, that's what I got going on here I also am going to be putting out a video for the um, sun catchers so a couple weeks ago, I did crafting with Kim where uh, my friend Renee and I made sun catchers. So I started the process. It's been a little while because you have to wash them, dry them and all that stuff. So I'm working on that video. Uh, that should be out soon. And um, like I said, this is a, a channel for all crafting. So eventually we're going to get to other crafting. So <laughs> I, I try to make a variety of crafts and events so that you know there's a little bit of stuff for everybody so sorry I just had to watch my dog chase my cat out of here Fritzy that's not nice so, <laughs> so I've been working with um, my Cricut machine because I spent the money on it and I don't want to just make mugs I don't want to just make t-shirts I know it can do much more so I know it can make stickers <clears throat> so the other day I printed back up the other day I tried to print on the sticker paper that came with it they give you a sheet or two to practice so I used mr. fortunate's printer and I put it in and um, it, you know send to the printer so I sent it to the printer and I hear it jamming and, and I'm like oh boy because it's his and now I'm messing it up you know how that goes so I, I quickly, he was outside, I quickly unjammed it and I had it fixed before he came back in. So he didn't know I did it. <clears throat> and um, I said to myself, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy my own inkjet printer so that I can just have it right here in my craft room. I don't have to worry about messing up his. And so um, I went through the whole thing. I ordered the printer. Thank goodness it was there the next day. So I ordered the printer. I set it up. Here we go. Because it says right on there, good for photo paper and sticker paper. And I'm like, yes. So I went through the whole thing again. Did the stickers. Send a printer. Waited. And all of a sudden I hear, and it jammed itself again. And I'm like, Ugh. so I went and I went, actually, it's an HP, I think. So I actually went to HP and I found sticker paper made for them, by them, whatever. And I ordered that. So that should be here today. I'm going to try it again. Because like I said, I don't want to have these machines and have them being wasted. Because I, that's not how I roll. I'm not going to spend the money and then not use it. The only thing I've done that with so far is, well, I didn't even spend that money. Mr. Fortunate bought me a um, sewing machine and I haven't used it yet. But other than that, I like to use everything that I buy 
because if not why waste the money right why why bother wait with it so so oh huh, the weekend so i hope you guys caught my latest treasure hunt if you didn't please after you watch this go watch my extreme treasure hunt video that i put up yesterday so after I went and got pedicures with my daughter, and after that, there's this consignment shop locally. It's a huge building. It used to be this big dance hall and whatever. And I walked in. It was just packed, 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 packed. It was, anyway, um, check out that video. I'd love for you to see it. It, it was quite something. So on the way home, I listened to this other <clears throat> channel, um, Art Junkie, and she was doing a members only live. So I put it on in my car so I could at least listen. You know, I could listen live. So what she's doing is for members only, she's got a book and we're recreating. She's got a book of granny squares. So it's really fun, actually. I'm having a good time with it. So here's the three we've done so far. And, uh, I'm really liking it. So I think depending on how many we do, if we do eight, I can make a pillow out of it, do four on the front and four on the back. I think that would be really cool. If we don't do eight, I'm going to have to make eight so I can go ahead and make the pillow <laughs> anyway. Right. So, all right. I think that catches me up and catches you up with everything I've got going on here. Um, Stay tuned for some extra videos. I have the tutorial for the market bag coming up. I have the tutorial for the sun catchers coming up. I'm going to have the tutorial for um, this pot holder hot plate coming up. There's a lot coming up. So um, yeah, check out my videos. Check out um, my playlist. I have a ton of stuff on there. Lots of fun videos, lots of fun creative um, stuff. Even ventured out into the garden this weekend. That's on my playlist. So if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think of my indoor um, houseplant garden. And uh, let me know what you think of all my other videos. I appreciate your time. I love that you're here. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you have not. And remember, always be creative. All right, guys. Thanks. I'll see you next time.